Hey friends, do you like what we see here? Air pollution consists of toxic chemicals and other harmful particles that have an adverse effect on our health and ecosystem. But what causes air pollution? In today's episode, let us enter the filthy territory of air pollution and explore its lethal consequences on our lives, environment and the world. Zoom in! A tiny percentage of air pollution comes from natural sources like volcano eruption, dust storms, allergens and wildfires. And we don't have any control over pollution caused by any of these natural sources. But what we have control over is human activities that are responsible for most of the world's air pollution. Yes, my friends, right from smoking cigarettes to burning fossil fuels to driving cars and releasing toxic smoke from factories tarnish the air you breathe and cause severe health and environmental problems. For example, when we burn fossil fuels like decomposed plants and organisms, they discharge carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the air. These gases in turn trap heat coming from the sun in the Earth's atmosphere, resulting in a rise in global temperature and is a major factor behind global warming. This rise in temperature sets a chain of events and intensifies air pollution by increasing the level of smog in the environment. Smog is a type of air pollution that reduces visibility and makes the air hard to breathe. It engulfs the surrounding in a brown and grey haze, which is common in industrial areas and remains a familiar sight in cities like Los Angeles, California and Delhi in India. Not only that, but air pollution can also make people very sick. Apart from breathing issues, it can cause diseases such as lung cancer, respiratory infections and heart disease. You won't believe it, but according to the WHO, nearly 2.4 million people die each year from air pollution. So, my dear friends, it is our duty and responsibility to take the matter in our hands to save our planet and future generation. But the most crucial question is, how can we help to reduce the ever-increasing air pollution? Well, we can do that by spreading awareness amongst our friends and family about the consequences of burning fossil fuel and urge them to reduce its usage as much as possible. Even a small step such as switching off the lights, TV or any electrical device when not in use can help in reducing the level of air pollution. Also, one of the easiest ways to control air pollution is by limiting the use of private cars and vehicles and opting for the public transport system or walking or riding a bicycle whenever possible. And little by little, step by step, we will start to see the difference and the world will be a healthy, happy place to be in once again. Trivia time! Did you know the biggest single air polluter is road transport, such as cars? Not only that, air pollutants emitted from cars are believed to cause cancer and contribute to problems such as asthma, heart disease, birth defects and eye irritation. Also, air pollution is not a recent occurrence. In 1952, the Great Smog of London killed 8,000 people. But unfortunately, we didn't learn our lessons yet and are continuing to make the same mistake of harming our environment. Remember my friends, 
as the great Carl Sagan said, and I quote, The earth is the only world known so far to harbor life. There is nowhere else, at least in the near future, to which our species could migrate. Visit, yes. Settle, not yet. Like it or not, for the moment, the earth is where we make our stand. So, it's important to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. Think about it. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!